Lights on. And they're off to a great start in the 1981 Melbourne Cup. And Bell Mural out on the inside. One of the first to come out with Diadrica. Away quickly is our Paddy Boy searching for the lead. And he was followed closely in the field behind them by Nopier and Quero Trelaya. And they were followed a bit further back in the field by Cockhead on the inside of El Arena. Deck the horse is further back, followed by Magistrate from Hypernoa. And R1 has dropped out to the last, racing onto the course proper, running down the straight the first time with just over a second to go. And Mr. Cromwell on the inside is joined for the lead down by Magistrate, has gone to the front at the 400 metres mark in the straight the first time. And Magistrate showing out by length, Hyperno on the outside of Mr. Cromwell, getting over onto the rails just behind them is our Paddy Boy on the inside of El Arena, followed by Cockhead and Just a Dash. And over on the rails further back in the field then, moving up on the fence came Lord Warden, a length and a half, Queer Oak Trillet on the outside of Just a Dash. A length into No Pier on the outside of Flashing Light, followed by Deck the Halls, one length to Bright Halo, followed by Dietrich and Fabulous Hour. In behind them is Anzas, a length and a half to Red Gun, followed by Seapole from R1. Kingston Town is next to last past the judge with a lap to go. And a Pelican Point is last of all. Going into the straight, 2,200 metres left to go. And the veteran magistrate leads the way by a length by Perno on the outside of Mr. Cromwell. Two lengths further back is our Paddy Boy on the inside of El Arena, a length to Cock Tatter. A length and a half further back in the field, then moving up on the outside, Just a Dash, followed by Lord Warden. Two lengths away, Quero Trelay on the outside of Belmure Ladder. A length and a half further back then came Flashing Light, followed by Deck the Halls, one length to No Pierre. They're followed by Bright Halo and further back to Ansis, pulling a little bit on the inside. He's followed by Diatric Seapala. At the head of the others came Favoloso and they were followed next by Pelican Point. R1 is next to last and Kingston Town last of all. 1,600 metres left to go. Magistrate in charge. Taken on now by Flashing Lighter. And shortly afterwards, Flashing Lighter's dashed to the lead in the cup by length to Magistrate. Two and a half lengths further back is Mr. Cromwell. He's over on the inside. And they were followed closely further back in the field by Cocked. Had a length and a half high per hour. He's followed back along the inside by our Paddy Boy. A length to Well Arena. Just a dash. Two lengths to Quero Trelay. They're followed by Lord Warden. One length to No Pier. Commencing a sharp forward mover. He's followed by Red Gun around the outside and back on the rail came Deck the Halls, uh, further back in the field and going around the Mansus at that point a length and a half to Wawan, a long way back in the field followed by Pelican Pointer and uh, dropping out to last now is Seapol as they come down the side of the track, flashing light showing at about a length to Magistrate Cocked had his third on the outside, Mr Cromwell is fourth, followed by Hypernoa then came Just a Dash, followed by El Arena a length and a half to Lord Warden around the outside now, no Pierce putting in his claim and Coy Road for low as they're also uh, as they come around the home turn with a 700 metres left to go and they're tightly packed up in the cup now, where Flashing Light is just in advance of Mr. Cromwell and Hyperno around the outside as they straighten up, followed by Just a Dash looking for a run, Quero Trelay pulled to the outside 500 metres left to go, Flashing Light the leader, down the outside now is our Paddy Boy into the picture with a great run and then came Magistrate and further back to El Arena, followed by Deck the Halls and No Pears a long way back about 300 metres left to go, our Paddy Boy is headed by Just a Dash Just a Dash has hit the front of the cup now he's careered away by a length and a half El Lorena coming home well on the outside of our Paddy Boy. Hyperno flashing light on our one. But it's just a dash in front of Just a dash will win the Melbourne Cup. Just a dash wins it well. Two legs to El Lorena. It may be flashing light for third from our Paddy Boy and our one who flew home. And they're followed by Hyperno. Belmure a lad followed by No Pierre. Then Seapol, Quero Trelay, followed by Mr. Cromwell. Next home is Diatric, a long gap to answers, followed by Magistrate Deck the Halls, Diatric. Further back is Pelican Point, Lord Warden, and they were followed by Bright Halo and well back to Cocktown. And Kingston Town is last of all, or one of the last to finish in the Melbourne Cup of 1981, and Justin Ash has prevailed.